Today, I'm going to show you how to override an entity state manually. So for instance, right now, my kid's door is open. Therefore, the state is on. What if I want to manually override it to be off? Currently, we're in the Developers tool in the States tab. If you want to set the stage, go ahead and go into Set Stage. Choose your entity. Right now, it's the kid's door contact. It's on and I'm going to manually override it to off. Just type the state in and then hit on the button set state. You can see it jump from on to the off position. Let's flip it back to the on position. Cool. Now, if you're wondering why we're bothering with this, that's because previously in my old home from 2018, this sledge is very smart and also somewhat a little bit dumb. If I enter a four digit code in, Home Assistant will know it's me. If I set another four digit code in, Home Assistant will know it's my kids, for instance. So each person has their own four digit code. And for whatever reason, this sledge gets stuck on that last person who's opened the door. That's not good for one of my automations, so I have to revert it back to the 000 code. For instance, if I'm outside and I need to unlock the door, I'm going to enter in my key code 1234 and then five seconds later an automation will kick in and revert it back to all 0000. In order to make this automation possible, go ahead and go into your config folder. I like to edit mine straight from Windows Explorer and Notepad. So I'm going to go to Windows Explorer, jump onto the network and find the Home Assistant IP address, configuration folder, and then go into configuration.yaml. All you have to do is add this in, python underscore script colon. Next up, you'll want to create this folder. It's called python underscore scripts. Inside this folder, there's going to be this file, set underscore state dot py. If you open it, this is what it will look like. I'm going to share this on my Google Drive so you don't have to type all this mumbo jumbo. And now, go ahead and restart Home Assistant. So for me, I'm going to go into Home Assistant Terminal and type in ha core restart hit enter let's create an automation right now so go into settings automation create automation create a new automation your trigger will be whatever you want it to be most likely you don't have this sledge door for a lot of people they're actually using this with 433 megahertz sensor most 433 megahertz sensor are stuck on a state so you'll be using this automation to reset it back into the default state. Trigger will be whatever trigger that you already have. In this example, we're just going to jump into actions. Call service. The service will be Python. Down in the actions section, go ahead and change it to YAML. Edit in YAML. The service will be the Python script. The data will contain the entity ID. Here we can see it's the kids room contact and the state will be off. And then click on save. All right, hopefully this tutorial helped you with Home Assistant. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.